Today let's see how to manipulate XML data using document object model the DOM. You might have heard this in JavaScript. This is no different. Exactly the same functions. You can get more details about the function and its detailed descriptions on technotip.com. Follow the link below this video and you'll get the details of those functions or properties. So this is the XML file we wrote in our previous day tutorials. For more details, please visit technotip.com or the link below this video. In this video, we are using DOM, that is document object model, to access data present inside our XML, that is XML data using the attributes and the elements. You might have heard the get element by ID, get elements by tag name. We will use the these same functions. That is, okay. We will use these same properties or functions and fetch data from this XML. We write our XML inside this XML tag. We would give it an ID. See the root tag is company names inside that we have two elements that is company name we'll paste it inside it so let's see how it looks on a browser we have two elements called company name inside a root tag company names save it and let's have a look up at this file that is index.html okay it has just dumped all the XML information onto the browser now using simple inline CSS that is style sheet I'll make display is equal to none display colon none let's see the reflection of it on the browser okay the display has been removed now using the DOM I'll fetch information from this XML I'll fetch information which I need not necessarily whatever present inside just dumping the XML data onto the browser I'll I'll decide what elements to fetch and display so for that let me write some JavaScript file this is embedded JavaScript just for the purpose of illustration for more professionalism just write an ex external JavaScript file and link it to this HTML file that would make it easy to edit for if you have some team looking after JavaScript, another team looking after your style sheet, and one more team looking after XML, and maybe another team looking after HTML. Separate all these, whatever possible, separate the file and keep it as an external file and link. That is the best practice. I'll write a function called display1. We'll take a variable called base here I'll get the base tag the base element that is company names it's simple document dot get element by ID now pass the ID that is my base that's it inside base I have company names that is the base tag or the root element of my XML document now using this I'll fetch next element that is company name we'll take it as person one because we have two tags by name company name now using the base tag reference I'll fetch the element inside the base tag that is root element so base dot get elements yes is there get elements because get elements by tag name returns an array because we may have multiple 
tags multiple elements inside root tag see here we have two company name company name which has my that is details of satish second company name has details of shweta so after fetching the details of this we need to specify the index that is i'm fetching my details here satish details so i'll give an index of 0 when i'm fetching data of shweta i'll give index of 1 now use the same procedure and fetch the name just copy paste it the above line of code that is base dot get elements by tag name instead of company name just pass so instead of writing the entire thing that is base dot get elements by tag name then company name index of 0 dot get elements by id again replace it entire thing with person 1 now person 1 dot get elements by tag name inside the quotes write the tag name that is name we have only one element so give index of 0 dot first child because the string inside the tag is also a separate node so give first child dot data now let's see if it's working i'll write an alert and try to display the name in a pop up window in an alert box sorry so let me write an anchor text here once someone clicks on this anchor tag the information present inside the xml which we are fetching using dom should be popped in an alert box javascript colon call the function name that is display1 yeah it's display1 right save the file check the browser oops not working well it's wrongly written here display1 now let's see it okay it's coming i'll just remove the comment from here i will add name let's see if it's working now refresh this page each time you modify something okay it's working now just copy paste this for all other information like we have two phone numbers one email id and a company name now just replace the tag name that is phone phone of 0 is first first phone number now phone of 2 is the second phone number we have in the xml file now email the last one is company change the variable names to here i'll make it phone 1 phone 2 for the purpose of recognizing the individual phone numbers email and the company so concatenate these variables onto the alert box i'll add slash in new line slash in and concatenate it with these variables Okay, let's have a look in the browser. It's coming. Nice. So this is how we fetch the data. Well, we don't have the labeling here. So let's see how to label it. Have a look. There are no labels. Simple way if we have only one one person's information, one or two person's information, we can directly directly write that is concatenate 
the label information to and save it inside these variables and just display it in the alert box. Well, this works, but what if we have a large set of data and some people don't have the work form and some people have other phone numbers too. We need to dynamically retrieve it. In this case, there is no problem. So let's see how to retrieve this phone information that is labeled dynamically. Let's display the type, whatever present inside the type that is home and work. So we know these are attributes of the element phone. So it becomes easy now, the person1 get element by tag name that is phone. We have two phone numbers. So make sure you specify the indexing properly. Here we are fetching the label that is we are fetching the attribute from first phone. So we will give an index of zero. Now dot get attribute now pass the attribute name that is type so ph label 1 will have work inside it we will con concatenate it with the semicolon now replace the string here with the variable name just do the same for the second phone number 2 just change the label name and the index number 1 to fetch the second phone number label that is attribute that's it now this work and home thing should appear here home and work nice if you have a large set of data this would be helpful now let me display the second person's information too i'll do it display too and let me insert anchor tag here another anchor tag company name we have taken it as microsoft change the function name and one thing we will change here that is the index number to one we need we could change this person one to person two that would make us to change the whole lot of other things so let us keep it as it is for now so this is it to display another person's information just write the same information and it will dynamically fetch the data for you this is feasible because we have only two persons information here what if you have hundreds or thousands of people's information over here just use a for loop or something like looping and you could accomplish the same task for as many users as possible we would see that we would see the manipulation of data that is insertion creation and all in our coming videos so stay tuned, please visit the link below this video, share this video on Facebook, Twitter, please like it on YouTube. Thank you.